but I want to do to make two announcements. First, on the Western Balkans, the Spanish presidency is proposing, and I think it's a good proposal, to hold a ministerial meeting together with the Western Balkans ministers, and we will do it uh, at the end of next month, uh, together with the Spanish presidency and following other events related with the Balkans, like the Berlin process. I think it's very important that uh, the ministers under the Spanish presidency take stock of what's happening in the Balkans, and that uh, on the 14th of uh, September, I will take the, a new meeting of uh, the high-level dialogue between Kosovo and Serbia as facilitator of this dialogue to look for solutions. The, the issue of enlargement has been floating over our discussions. Ukraine has to become a member of the European Union, the Western Balkans also, quickly. I think that the war in Ukraine has had a collateral effect, that is to speed up the enlargement process, which is certainly a merit-based process. Each state will become a member when fulfill all the conditions. But at the same time, I think it's good to fix a political target, an horizon, in order to give a political impetus to the process. And also for us, because yes, we too have to be prepared for an enlargement that could affect uh, to 10 more members of the European Union. So it's worth for them to be prepared, in particular Ukraine, that will need a lot of uh, support, but also for the European Union in an horizon that at the same time represents the fulfillment of the conditions, otherwise it would not happen, but proposing a horizon, a kind of a time target, could mobilize our energies and the energies of the candidate members, candidate st states.